Ivan Zut for Jatai Academy on the web and welcome to another video in our series of ongoing education for beauty and barber industry professionals. Once again we're dipping into the mailbag and this week's question was, hey Ivan, hey Jatai, what do you think about those coupon discount website app programs like the one that sounds like the word coupon but begins with a different letter? What do you think of those type of discount deal sites and opportunities for building and growing barber business? Great question. Simple answer, but nothing simple with Ivan. I'm going to turn it into a top five tips list. The simple answer is no, don't do it. Those things suck. You just don't want to do them. All you have to do is visit any of the Facebook book groups and websites and chat rooms where people talk about them. Our industry in particular hates these for a variety of reasons. One reason is number two on the list. Number one on the list was just no, don't do it. Now I got to be more specific. Number two on the list is we don't like to discount. You should never discount anything ever. Pick a price, put it on the wall in the menu, stand up straight and tall, shoulders back, chest out, chin high, face forward, quote the price, 38 bucks is my haircut, and just be proud of it, and charge full price. Don't give it away. If you discount, you do what's called eroding price integrity. If you get $30 for a haircut and you offer a $5 coupon, it's not a $30 haircut anymore. You've told the whole world, 25's okay, you've undermined your value. Don't expect people to be happy at 30 if they can be happy at 25. I wouldn't do it, neither should they. You shouldn't give them the chance to do it by offering discounts, no discounts. The other reason these deal sites are horrible is many times they bring in deal shoppers who will shop you for the deal and never come back at full price. Another great reason not to do these deal sites is frequently these deal sites create short-term intense demand. You got them lined up outside all of a sudden. You don't have the personnel to take care of. You don't have the infrastructure to support them. You don't have the products to serve them. You stress out your entire environment and the new people coming in the door to try you in the first place don't even get you at your best. They get you stressed and they get you troubled and they get you challenged. That's not who you want to be for any of your customers. So number one on the list is no. Number two on the list is no discounts. Number three on the list is give it away for free. You know, if you want to do something great to build business, Ivan says full price or free. Those are your F words. Either full price, charge full price, or give it away for nothing. Because a $30 haircut with a $25 coupon is a $25 haircut. But a $30 haircut given away for free is still a $30 haircut. It allows you to maintain that price integrity. And you know what? Free is exciting. Free is magical. Free gets people interested. Free gets people hooked. I will gladly cut you once for nothing. And I will give you my very best when I cut you for free and you will come running back for more. So number one, don't do it. Number two, don't discount. Number three, if you're gonna do anything, just give it away. Number four on the list is use products as an incentive. I'm a big believer in growing your take home hair care product business. With Jatai, we have among other things the healthy luxury shave set that we frequently talk about in these videos. Use the products on your clients, have the products stocked up front, use those products as a gift with purchase, buy the haircut at full price, and I'll give you the shave cream. If that healthy luxury shave cream costs, for instance, $6, Maybe the retail price on it is $7. Maybe it costs you $3.50. I don't know exactly what the price is. Rather than discounting the haircut $3.50, give the shave cream away. It maintains the price integrity of your service and it creates a sampling initiative. And if they like that shave cream, they're gonna come marching right back to buy another one, using the product as the powerful business building hook. And the last on the list is co-op run a promotion with another business. Other people want a discount, let them discount. If the Subway sandwich shop next door, or the pizza place down the strip, or the shoe store, or the pharmacy, or the donut shop, or the gas station, if somebody wants to offer a discount, buddy up with them, partner with them, use their product, use their service as the discount, and maintain the value associated with 
yours. If you're a good salesperson and if you're a crafty promoter, you'll be able to get a large number of businesses to be happy to play with you, thinking they can access your customer base in exchange for which you're providing their product or service at a discount while retaining full price and price integrity for your stuff. That's the answer to the question, how do you feel about those discount sites? You know me, I've got a strong opinion about a lot of things in the hair business, but I've got a very strong opinion about discounting. I'm Ivan Zook for Jatai Academy, J-A-T-A-I dot net on the web. Please like this video, share this video, comment on this video, subscribe to the channel. You'll get videos like this sent to you all the time, free from our friends at Jatai. I appreciate you being here. Visit me at ClipperGuy or IvanZoot.com, ClipperGuy.com, IvanZoot.com on the web. If I can help you build and grow your business, that's my job. Your job is to build and grow your business. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.